Good morning, Pash fam. Happy Monday. This is Elizabeth of ERW Plans and Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concepts. In less than an hour or about an hour, depending on when I get this up on YouTube, the daily Kickstarter is going to go live. If you watched my Insta story on Friday, then you saw me being like super excited about this. So I wanted to do a real quick video for YouTube for those of you that aren't watching my Insta stories so we can do this compare the difference. So right now what I've got in front of me is the compact passion planner. It's undated. The daily. Ooh, ah. And uh, next year's pro that I will be using. So. Uh, to start, I'll do a quick flip through of what's actually in the daily. So I was very excited. Um, if you saw the video on Friday, this little notes to self card is just gorgeous cardstock. It's really cool. I'm just really excited about it. And then, of course, we have our little holographic stickers here. Put those aside for now. First page of the planner. Dive right in to how we'll benefit. Um, new layout for this page, which is pretty cool. The note from Angel. We have a few pages of the Hardo story, which is just freaking adorable. Love it. And if you're ever like, I'm not sure how to use a passion planner, if you've never used one before, this will give you a really good idea of how to use a passion planner. Um, how the daily works. And then our free space for inspiration, which is also pretty cool. Date started, date completed. So we're set with our planner. Roadmap, if you guys are all familiar with this. Uh, this month's game changer goal is actually is a new page. It's actually really cool. I wish this would be in the 2020s or maybe the 2021s or the 2020 academics. Would be very cool to have this in there. Just to let you know. Um, this is what I'm calling a future log. Um, starting in January with all the days down the side. So you can plan out your month your months accordingly. And then we're right into the dailies. As you may have noticed, there is no monthly calendar. It's just these future logs here. If you need a month at a glance, uh, Chelsea is doing a sticker for it. Um, the other thing that you can do that I've been doing in my daily uh, printout is I've been um, just printing out the blank uh, calendar from the download. So you can go to the Passion Planner website, get the undated download, and then just print off those blank calendars and then put them on some sticker paper or tape them in. You've got, once you've read it, eight pages of Hardo story. That's four months in the front to deal with that. Um, also, We've got 14 pages of dot grid in the back if you want to put your count, your monthly at a glance calendar in the back. So then we're on to the daily focus section. These are your daily spreads. There's two pages for each day of the week. Uh, 93 pages total, or uh, 93 dailies total, I believe. So you can have three 31 month days in here. And then when you get to the end of a 31 month, or 31 day, ooh, brain section there's a review section which I'll show you here so you have your self check-in and then you get to define a new monthly game changer which once again I really like I wish we had a couple more pages in here I wish I had a second self check-in page and I wish we had another like mind mapping section but anyway so you do that and then you get to the end of your book after 93 days. And you have a self check-in section, rate right this month from one to 10, the since you started your planner section, which is cool. And then it just goes right into your dot grids. And like I said, you've got 14 of the dot grid pages and then your pocket in the back, which when you get your dailies, that's where you'll find your sticker and your little sheet there. So that's what's inside of it. Um, 
A lot of people have been upset because they're like, oh my gosh, the Passion Planner Daily only comes in the small size. And I've been doing my best to get in the forums, but if you haven't seen my response in the forums, yes, the physical size is the same as the small. It's actually a little bit thicker. This is the daily up here. Daily. Yearly. So you can, or weekly, we'll call it. So you can see that this one is slightly thicker. I think Chelsea met, measured it out in her video and it's maybe a quarter of an inch thicker, maybe. Um, I, I don't have the exact measurement, but is this one is, I would say significantly thicker. It makes me laugh all the people that wanted one year's worth of these at a time. I mean, this is less than six months worth of these, so you would have to double that. So take that. You're gonna carry it, so that's would be the end of your book. So you're gonna take a carry, you want to carry a book around that thick? Really? You people are crazy. You want to carry a book around that thick? I don't know you guys. But anyway, so, yes, it's the outside is the same as the small, but like a TARDIS, it is bigger on the inside. So here's the inside of your compact. And these are the pages I was telling you about. Like you can go get the down digital download of this page, print it in, put it on sticky, print it out, put it on sticky paper, put it into your other one. Because you do the same thing with the monthly reflection uh, pages if you wanted to. But when we get to the weeklies inside, look at how much freaking bigger this one is compared to this one. I don't have a ruler here to measure it. I probably should have grabbed a ruler. Honestly, I thought I had a ruler in my uh, cart here, but I apparently didn't bring my ruler over to my cart uh, prior to doing this video. But I will just say, look, I think you can eyeball this. I mean, from here to my first knuckle is the size here. Over here, it is significantly bigger. Uh, same thing with the to-do pa uh, panel. Signif if we just line it up, edge of the to-dos here, significantly, we've got about an extra inch width here. It is significantly wider. For comparison, I have next year's, my 2020 planner here, with its extra ribbons that I already added because I'm super cool like that. This is the Pro. If we line up our daily here, the daily is still wider than the pro on the inside. Um, I had a classic out, or a, a large as they're called now, recently, and it's not as wide as a large, it is like this in-between size between the pro and the large for the timeline. For the to-do space, it's harder for me to line this one up, but I will. For the to-do space, it's almost the same width, maybe the same width. I think it's, if I remember correctly, I measured it out. These are 80 millimeters and these are like 82. So you're talking the difference of about two millimeters width. This one is slightly smaller than. But for the most part, the to-do list width is the same. These, are, the uh, daily timelines are actually narrower in the 2020 than they are in the daily. So, like I said, the space inside is bigger than what it looks like on the outside. It's like, we'll call it our little TARDIS uh, planner here. Just seriously, it's, it's, you'll, you'll have no problem. This will be fine. Um, the Kickstarter starts at um, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So that's actually uh, noon here central, um, one o'clock, uh, or I'm sorry, noon here mountain central is one o'clock, uh, two o'clock um, on the east coast. So you got a few hours to get some things together. Uh, some of the questions I answered on my Insta uh, live Q&A when I got the planner, um, does it come in other colors? If you want just one, daily just to try it out you're getting it in black only comes individually in black uh, if you want to buy a full year set there's the tranquil tones and the uh, brilliant set the brilliant set has a pretty rose gold in it though i haven't seen it in hand the tranquil tones has the uh, colors i showed you in the live video i did 
Um, the cover material is the same. This is a, or I want to say I got this in 2017. This is a 2017 undated. This is the daily. It's, I want to say the cover material is identical. Um, the edges have a slightly different finish to them on these, but otherwise this cover material is identical because I know there are some people saying that their covers aren't holding up as well anymore. This feels exactly the same as this. This might, the old one might be a little bit smoother than the daily, but it pretty much feels the same as the daily does now. Um, the Kickstarter starts at 11 Pacific time today. Um, so a little more than an hour if I get this video uploaded um, on the schedule I want. Um, and so you, listen, you can do the individual, you can do a set of four. Those are your options. Um, the individual one runs 25, I believe. You'd have to double check 20 or 25. The black, all black set runs uh, 80 and then the tranquil tones or the um, brilliant tones run um, at 100 right now. Uh, uh, Chelsea already has stickers in her shop for the daily. I'm working on getting my stickers out for the daily. Um, I will not be doing a calendar sticker. Uh, if you want a calendar sticker to sticker in here, Chelsea has those. Um, you should see in the next few days in my shop, all the stickers that are full pages are suddenly available for the compact size. And that's why, because that will fit this planner right here. Um, I'm also going to have a video up because I'm going to add in more ribbons to this, just like I did for this one. So that'll be coming soon because uh, the process is going to be basically the same. I don't think there are any other super frequent questions. Um, uh, mostly the biggest question was about getting the colors. As far as I know, even after the Kickstarter, you're only going to be able to get the colors in sets of four. So you're not going to be able to buy like an individual blush blossom either. You're getting individuals in black or you're getting a year set in colors. We'll see that might change depending on feedback from you guys. See, you know, let Passion Planner know what you're feeling. Um, I'm really excited about the color scheme. Um, because everybody asks me about planner covers, I have the cover I've been using for my daily booklets that I'll probably keep using for this one for the time being until I can get myself a cocoa paper press. Uh, the cover I've been using for the booklets has been from um, Leather Imagined on Etsy. Uh, cocoa paper is the cover that I usually use for my pro and that I'll be using probably for this one once I get it going. So, and I totally recommend getting a, a cover. Uh, I see a lot of people complaining that their 2019s are falling apart put in a cover, you won't have these problems, okay? All right, so. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, make sure if you like the video to leave a like, and of course you can subscribe um, using the button up there in the upper right hand corner. Um, I will have a video up on Wednesday. My plan is to show you how to put together one of the daily booklets. Until then, this is Elizabeth. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.